This is severe MMA. We're at FCC 16 at Macron Stadium in Bolton. We're alongside at SPG Islands. Fion, I'm going to get this, Healy Magua. That was good. Hey, hey, Andrew McGann. Anywho, you know, a, a fantastic performance, a, a great fight. Talk us through the finish first, though. Yeah, um, basically, I felt like I was in the clinch there. I felt like I caught him with a knee. Um, he sort of dived in for the takedown, bit of a desperation sort of takedown, um, just locked on that front headlock. I was trying to be patient, decide what to do, um, just felt his posture break a little bit, and then there was that opening, slipped the knee over the head, and yeah, finished it. So. You know, they announced it as a guillotine, but I got to say, surely that's a Peruvian that's necktie. That's a Peruvian necktie, that's what that was. Hey, maybe, yeah. I, 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 we don't get to see those very often, so you bring this guy. You know, I, I, I know you had some difficulty with the opponent here. It changed time, and changed and changed. Does that have any pressure? Do you not prepare for the opponent? You prepare for the fight. How does it work? Yeah, that's it. Like, really, at the end of the day, your opponent can change at any minute. So I'm just trying to prepare myself the best I can and go out there and do, do my thing. Like, there is, we had one opponent. That guy changed. Another guy came in today. He changed. This guy came in. So, uh, Props to your man for taking it. He was like unbelievable to actually take it on two hours notice. So thanks to him, and um, yeah, went in and did, did the business. So that's all that matters. Obviously, and through no fault of the, the competitors, then obviously right now it's pretty, it looks like it's pretty hard to get fights in Ireland at the moment like, with, with some consistency. So how, how good is it to come to an event over here? And what do you think of FCC compared to perhaps what's going on in Ireland at the moment? Yeah, like it's it's an unbelievable show. It's a great show, and um, yeah, like it's it's proper professional how they treat all the even amateurs everything's set up really well and um, yeah we need more shows like this back home and like thanks to um, Adam and all the guys who organized everything flew us over short notice organized everything for us so thanks to those guys and um, yeah great you show know, to fight on it's quite cool for us too because although you know we get to see the up-and-coming British talent and but now more and more we're getting an influx of Irish amateurs and professionals coming into the U in, into you know Britain for as well I, I think it's wonderful for all of us uh, obviously SPG this is a team that's on everybody's lips. You know, Connor and John sort of leading the way, Matt Thornton and then Carl Tanswell over here. What's your, you're an amateur fighter with the SPG team. What's that like? How does that feel? Uh, it's, it's unbelievable. Like, I was, I was training last year with Jason Tan in Liverpool, great gym over there as well. And um, yeah, I moved back to Dublin, to Ireland, and it's unbelievable. It's just like the, the volume of fighters there is just unbelievable. And it's guys who are being inspired by like Connor or all that kind of stuff. So everyone's serious, everyone really wants that top one percent and um, so yeah like everyone's unbelievable there. I know you've got some teammates going to be fighting just after yeah. this fight so we won't keep you at m much longer but Theon it was a hell of a performance just over a minute long and to correct I'm sorry it was not a guillotine Peruvian necktie, Peruvian necktie. phenomenal performance and I look forward to seeing you fight on this side of the water again soon thank you for thank you very much thank you.